Greetings and welcome back to the channel. So, some of you may have seen on the social medias that in December I posted a picture up of something that I bought from Bridget the Bridgeport. Yes, I've bought it a digital readout. A cheap one. You know, we're on a budget in this workshop, so I bought a cheap one. So we're going to open the box, check out what we get, make sure it works, and then I'll try and fit it. So we've come to the bench. We've got the digital readout here and we've got the linear scales in this box. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. So I bought this from Vivo, as is probably in the description. So it's not an expensive digital readout. But hopefully it'll uh, do the job. And if it's any good, because I've only bought a, a two axis one at the moment, because that's the only kit they had online. So we've got the bracket arm, the, bra the attachment for the mill end. Now that's handy, it comes with uh, the holes for the collets. UK kettle lead. Ah, here we are, here it is itself. Oh, it actually has Vivo written on it too. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's a uh, Probably a standard cheap Chinese one. We have... Ah, is that a cover for it? Yes, it's come with a, it comes with a cover. To cover it up from uh, protection of coolant. I if I can get it open. Oh, that's handy. I think we, may put, we might put that on. Instruction manual. Quite, uh, quite a lot of stuff there. And the fitting kit. Right, we'll open the linear scales and then we'll plug it all in and see if it works. Right, so the linear scales. It's quite a heavy box. It uh, seems quite well, well sealed. Vivo gave this, and it, I got this before Christmas. And Vivo said it would take six days, and it came in three from two different places. Right. Well, we've got to be careful here because these are very sharp, these copper. I think there are a couple of end caps. Now both the scales are there. Now you got to be careful because these I've gone for the, these are glass scales, not magnetic. We've got some brackets. Another one, smaller one. Fitting kit. And another fitting kit. Guard for the short one, and a guard for the long one. Right, so we'll carefully get these out. So far, the quality feels it seems quite good. Out. 
Yeah, the, the, the quality seems really quite nice. Right, so I've plugged the readout in. And I've plugged the, this short Y axis one in, so we'll just we'll turn it on. There's a switch on the back. Oh, it makes some beeping noises, looks just like any other standard. Uh, so we'll zero that, we'll zero that one out. I've not plugged that one in. It seems like it does what it ought, you know, it should do. And then obviously if we just gently move... Oh wow, that is... Yeah, that seems to that works really nicely. I'm quite impressed with the quality, to be honest. Any slight movement, as you can see, we're in the plus there, and then into the minus. So once we get that set up, I think it'll be perfect. I'll swap it over. I'll plug the long one in. And I'll check the length for the long one because this this seems fine. Honestly, I'm I am impressed. The quality of these is really smart you got like a, a little weather or well not a weather a coolant strip there and that does say here please remove the red plastic before you use it so I assume that's to set it so that it's the right gap so we get optimum performance right so I've got the long one plugged in now as you can see I've left the uh, Y still attached so we'll just give this a little a little move it's so sensitive I can't believe how sensitive it is so I will put that there zero and we'll just go gently I'm not going too fast This should be about 700, I think. I've not seen any jumps. Oh, that's a meter. Oh, I'm sure it's not supposed to be a meter, but it works. And it didn't, I didn't see any jumping of the figures and the numbers. So those glass scales are all okay. Uh, we just have to fit it now.